Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Asha Allah, Koholoyim La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekach HaKodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan the Waf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that He exists, or the existing one. And the true name of His Son, which the world equally calls Jesus, is Yahweh Shai, which means that He's the Savior, or the Deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. And you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, your real nationality, or your real ethnicity, I would say, is your Hebrew Israelites. That's your biblical nationality, or your biblical ethnicity. You're not blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Latinos, you know, Dominicans, Jamaicans, all these different names that your colonizer gave you. And we know who we are by the prophecies that's in the scriptures. Deuteronomy chapter 28, it gives you a breakdown of the children of Israel by the curses that we go through. And this is a curse. It's been one of these right here. That, um, it says gunman kills two and injures 20 in mass shooting at block party. It's been like one of these every week since this got hot. Like <laughs> for real, it's, it's you know, give or take. Yeah, it's been it's been like one one of these a week, you know. Just just and I knew it was gonna you know um spike over um you know this little Fourth of July weekend, this little Independence Day they call it rather you know. And it's been a lot of shit going on. This is just one story, but let's um let's let's play some of this. This is the news right here in Detroit right here right. It's east side. So far, we know that around 2.30 this morning, police were called to the area of Rossini and Gratiot on reports of a shooting. No word yet on how many people were involved, and that's where we find Fox News' Ingrid Kelly. She joins us live from the east side of Detroit. Ingrid, do we know what is going on or what happened so far? You know what? That's that's the question right now. Exactly what did take place? So we actually just arrived here to the scene and we're learning as we go. So here's what I know. Um, police have confirmed this. There was a shooting. It happened around two o'clock here on Rossini. I want you to take a look. This officer right here, he has been going around. He was just on this porch. He was talking to one of the residents. So that makes me think that he is really trying to get some type of eyewitness account. Talk to residents here. What did they see? What did they hear? What do they know? Also want you to look to the uh, direction that he's walking down there. A lot of officers have been centered around this white vehicle on uh, the grass on this lawn over there um they've been that's where the investigation seems to be the center of it right there not sure exactly what took place but the other thing that i did when i arrived on scene i was asking one of the uh law enforcement agencies about exactly what took place again he said a shooting i was like how many victims he said he didn't know i said how many people are deceased he said he didn't know there are a number of people in surgery which supports the phone call that the station actually received we spoke to a woman who says that three of her nieces were actually here at a party and that they're in surgery right now so we do know that a number of people were injured um, we believe that it was some sort of like function or a party that took place in this area on rossini we see a number of cop cars we also see i want you to kind of uh, mike my photographer if you can zoom down the middle of the street where you see a lot of markers that makes me think that the, I don't. We don't know if those are bullet casings or what sort of evidence. But there's a number of markers in the center of the street. So again, two agencies are out here: Detroit Police, Michigan State Police. We do know that there's a shooting. I've been working the phones. Um, I spoke with um, Corporal Donikowski. He tells me that he is still waiting on confirmation for some details, and we know that he will deliver. He'll give us those. We're going to also keep talking to residents around here. What exactly did they see? What did they hear? But again, the only thing. Okay, so I guess they must have wrote the story after they done that interview. But it says two people have been deleted and 18 others injured in a mass shooting at a block party on Detroit's east side. A gunman opened fire at the party around 2.25 a.m. So if you notice, you know, she said that it was three young ladies, you know what I'm saying? Her, you know, that that was in critical, you know what I'm saying? Right. So what are you doing out at that time of night? 
See, that's that's our women having that liberty to gather abroad. The scripture talks about that, man. You know, that being able to just be out any time that you want as a woman. In a place like America, man, at 2.30 in the morning, you out and about, you know. Anyway, it says um, 2.25 a.m. local time, while revelers were gathered in the area, according to the Detroit police. A 20-year-old woman was shot in the head, see that, and, 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 and deceased on the scene. A 21-year-old man was shot in the back and died at the local hospital. The suspect, a 22-year-old man, was shot in the leg at some some point during the attack and was taken into custody. He is currently recovering in the hospital. It is not immediately clear whether it was law enforcement or another party goer who shot the suspect. The identities of the victims and the suspect have not been released in the public. Police told 7 News um, Detroit that they would enact new guidelines for for block parties in the wake of the shooting. They have been talking about that lately. You know? Cuz you can live on a block and Jacob shut the damn block down and you won't be able to drive off your block. Jacob cut that shit off. I just seen one the other day right up the street from me. I'm like, "What well, damn? These motherfuckers just cut off the whole street." You Knowing full well they ain't, ain't even got no permit. Ain't these motherfuckers ain't got no permit to cut the to, to, to shut down and they 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 were shutting down the street for for the 4th of July bullshit. Right, but it says DPD will be implementing a comp comprehensive new strategy regarding block parties and will provide full details tomorrow at a briefing with the chief. Cause see, they'll shut down on blocks, man. They be drifting and shit, motherfuckers. Be uh, you know, they be in them Hellcats and Chargers and stuff like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Just acting a damn fool. It says um, Mary Sheffield, Detroit City Council President, issued a statement. Regarding the shooting, I was saddened and utterly disgusted to learn of today's early morning mass shooting on Detroit's east side, where 21 young people, average eight, age, after 21 young people, average age of 19, see, was shot with two of them succumbing to their injuries. So if you know, these these are basically you know, young men and women. You know what I'm saying? You already know, hey, Jake be wildin' so damn, Jake be going hard with the wildin' these days, man. I wouldn't be around none of this. It says, this unspeakable tragedy is yet another reminder that gun violence is an epidemic in Detroit and across the nation. We must chart a new, new course of action, and I'm calling for an all-hands-on-deck approach to ending the census killings and destructions of families in our communities. My heart and prayers goes out to the victims and their loved ones. Well, you can forget about it because the reason why this is going on is because we're under these curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And that's not going to stop. And then America is just a violent country, man. I mean, America was was built on violence and it's been violent since it started. They came here. They stole the country with violence. You know, they, the West was one with violence. <laughs> you know, so it's a lot. You know, it's not going to stop until you have about some else. I stop it. Like I said, again, it's all about these prophecies. That's how you know who the children of Israel are. Deuteronomy 28 and 46. Let me get that one first, and then I'll jump straight to the curse. It says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So these curses, they're upon us for a sign. So you can tell who we are through these curses. Because no other race of people, man, go through nothing like this. You ain't about to hear no... um. Uh, uh, you know, no, 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 no damn uh, Chinese people having a block party and, and, and motherfuckers whipping out pistols every weekend. Japanese people, you know, even so-called white people, man, as violent as, as they asses are, you know, but you don't hear about them, uh, uh, you know, every other weekend. There's a block party. There's, you know, multiple people dying. You know, you don't hear about stuff like that from them. These other nations, man, this is strictly on us. Deuteronomy 28 and 54, this is one of the curses. So that a man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil towards his brother and towards the wife of his bosom and towards the, the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. So that's one of the curses right there. You know, his eye shall be evil towards his brother. And Jake not thinking, you know what I'm saying? Jake just whipping out the, you know, whatever he's shooting with, you know what I'm saying? And just spraying up every damn body. But 
we know that man's goings are the Lord as well. You know what I'm saying? That's that Proverbs 20 and 24. So those, those people that caught the business, the Lord wanted them to get the business. Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings are the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? So the Lord had everybody set up to go exactly at the time that they went. They got dressed. They brushed their damn teeth. You know, they done everything that they needed to do. They picked out an outfit. And they showed up right on time for that mass destruction to happen to them, man. Well, let's get Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Yeah, scripture says that it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And I had already been saying that the other day. I was saying, like, yep, just give it, a, just give the weekend a, a, a chance to blow by, and you're going to see all that Jake has done on Independence Day. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See that? So the Lord is the one that um, set all that up, man. The Lord is the one that kills and makes alive. Matter of fact, let's get one more precept on that. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. See? You can't get around that, man. Another, um, you know, um, precept is uh, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. See? So it's the Lord. He, he created peace and he created evil, man. But you'll have these Christians talking about how he loves everything. I had a Christian the other day on the comment board talking about how the Lord, he loves, um, um, you know, the act of, of the, 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 the alphabet people. Like, man, get the hell out of here with that, man. I gave him an Old Testament scripture and a New Testament scripture because he was like, oh, that's from the Old Testament. But, you know, these people don't, they don't really read the Bible. So I hit him with, you know, um, the one in Romans, you know, chapter one. It's, it's, it's scriptures in the New Testament as well that speaks on their lifestyle. But they believe in white Jesus and that he loves everything because that's what's been taught to them. And, and they really believe that the Lord loves them no matter what they do. They're really out here living like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to keep no laws. That's that's what um a lot of these these Christians do, man. Now, are you going to be perfect in the law? No, you're not going to be perfect in the law, man. But it's it's certain things that, I mean, you still got to be trying. You know, you you have to be really trying. I mean, damn. Them Christians, man, they're like, uh-uh, we don't have to try no more. We can do whatever we want. We're saved by grace. Right? Amos 3 and 6. It says, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? See that? So the Lord um, set all that up, man. And that Hebrews 10 and 31, it goes off into, um, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. You know, Hebrews 10 and 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. See? See? And the Lord is incredible, man. I mean, it's it, you know what type of choreographing that you had to do to put together all those people being there at the exact time that they needed to be there to get for what to happen to happen to them? Because they were saying a few people was in critical, so some of them may not make it. So, so, so the little you know the Lord might might pull the plug on some of them while they're in the hospital, man. Let's get that, uh, let's go into the Apocrypha real quick. The Spirits of Vengeance. No, but the only thing that's going to change up what's really going on is the Lord coming. That's it, man. Other than that, it's just going to get worse. Ecclesiastes 39 and 28. It says, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. So the Lord created spirits to appease his wrath. You know? Because Jake be out here wilding, man, on a day-to-day -day basis, man. I mean, we all need mercy. You know, um, I, you know, I pray for it on a day-to-day -day basis, man, uh, for mercy. Because, hey, the Lord, he can he can get down on you, man, real cold, you know. 
really cause some damage to you, boy. Matter of fact, you know, he can he can actually, you know, have you survive something and, and be in complete turmoil all the rest of your life. You know, what what they would call real hell. See, there's no burning spot on the ground called hell, you know what I'm saying? Hell is a condition. There's plenty of people, man, they sit in wheelchairs, you know. They didn't have arms, legs, amputated, things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, just out here, just messed all up, man, you know what I'm saying? And that's all from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, man, you know. So, hey, ooh, ooh. I kind of knew it, though. I mean, I, you know, I was expecting. But like I said, it's been like one of these, every weekend, it's been like a, um, a block party uh, 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 gathering where people have just been getting knocked off, man. And I don't know why people go to him. You see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Jake could still go go to these things, man. People out here off the drugs, drinks, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? A little argument go down. And Jake, you know, real effeminate these days. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll just, you know, they, they, they can't agree to disagree without um, something physical happening. Well, let's get a... Uh, First Kings 22, and um, I'm going to start at verse 19, to just show that it's the Lord that set up um, people to to get that business, man. First Kings 22, verse 19, and he said, Hear thou therefore the word of Yahweh. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And Yahweh said, Who shall persuade Ahab? That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Galiad. So that word fall means to pretty much be put to death. Right? And one said on this manner and another said on that manner. So you have these spirits of vengeance. You know that's given suggestions. And there came forth the spirit and stood before the Lord and said I will persuade him. And the Lord said wherewith. And the Lord said unto him wherewith. So the Lord is like how are you going to do it? And he said I will go forth. Zalakia. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in his in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. So the Lord, you don't hear about scriptures like this in the, in the Christian church, man. Christian church is not going to bring no scripture out like this. Huh? The Lord sent the lying spirit. Yeah, the Lord is in control of all spirits. You know, you, you have to look at Saul. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, and a bunch of other people in the scriptures, man, where, you know, you know, um, um, you know, I mean, the spirit is moving throughout the day on everybody anyway. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's um, on the right hand side or the left hand side. So, you know, the Lord is in control of, of, of left hand sided spirits and, and right hand sided spirits. And you can pretty much get that. Uh, let's get uh, let's go here. Let's go back a few chapters. Ecclesiastes chapter 33, right? In verse 13. Let's start there. It says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it. At his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like him best. Good is set against evil, and life against death. So is godly against it. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. Here's the point right here, verse 15. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. See, so he created um um um, you know, spirits on the left hand side and spirits on the right hand side. He created good and evil. He created um uh, the uh the scripture says the the deceived and the deceiver are his. He created up, he created down, he created wet, he created dry, you know. So everything has a complete opposite to it. So there's a complete perfect balance to the Lord. He's not just out here and and, and you know, you can't have evil without um good. You can't have righteousness without unrighteousness. It's, everything has a complete balance because um talks about that in um proverbs proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1 a false balance is abomination to the lord but a just weight is his delight see so to have evil and to not have good or to have good without evil that would be a false balance to the lord you can't have life without death you know can't have death without life you know what i'm saying so it's you know it, the lord created that balance so he created spirits on the left hand side to go forth and handle um you know 
um, you know, deathly duty, so to speak, you know. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on this real quick. And this is just Jake, man. Jake, that's why, um, and, and I, I kind of just figured it, you know, because, um, that, that, you know, that 4th of July was on Thursday. So, Jake had Friday, Saturday, <laughs> and Sunday to act a complete goddamn fool while celebrating this man's wicked ass holiday. All right? So I already knew, I, you know, uh, yep, yeah, yeah, some things is going to happen. And there was a bunch of other shit that happened, too. A bunch of people got deleted, man. And they said it sounded like a war zone. Damn. Yeah, it's more stories of just craziness, man. So, you know. Yep, just wanted to just say, hey, touch on that for a hot sec, man, you know, um, but again, you can tell who the children of Israel are through the prophecies. That's, that's, this is prophetic that we will be in this state as a people, you know, as a punishment from the Lord for not listening to the Lord, you know, it's all prophetic, man. And, and again, those Israelis that's over there in um, Israel, they be doing some shit. They over there, you know, you know, be doing some stuff, but they not having no block parties where People are being, you know, they're gunning on people down. They're not out drag racing late at night. Their women are not out at 2.30 in the morning getting shot up, man. You know? And again, man, you know, uh, you women that just be out there like that, gadding abroad, man, it's coming to a point, hey, y'all gonna be in the house anyway. You're gonna wanna be. You, you, and, and, and even in your house, you're not gonna be safe at, at some point. But that's what's coming to this world, man. It's about to, you know, be a real nasty spat for, for a lot of, women out here man when uh, things really hit the fans man and it's speeding up too it's a lot going on in the world man so you know hey it is what it is so i pray that this lesson this lesson was edifying with that kwame shalom salakia